A woman is shot and killed outside of her Jackson home, and now police have charged one man with her murder. WJTV's Katie Rose spoke with people living in the area who say the suspect has terrorized this neighborhood for months. It may look like a quiet neighborhood, but people living on Badger Drive say their quiet came to an end. I had him came bus windows, see him bus garages. He chased a child over here in the community, and the child was calling his dad and said, it's a guy chasing me. Shaquilla Thomas lives on Badger Drive. The man she is referring to is 32-year-old Dante Cornelius Porter. This man keep coming back in the neighborhood just shooting. There he'll come through the neighborhood, driving through the, the people's yards, making donuts in the middle of the street, being destructive. He, he was like an energizer bunny that couldn't be stopped. Thomas says this has been ongoing since December, but on Tuesday, Badger Drive became a crime scene. Got there at the house, and um, and I went to go turn. I saw a yellow tape. It was just like deja vu. She didn't deserve none of this. I mean, it's, it's horrible. She never got out the garage. Police found 39-year-old Laquita Roy shot to death outside of her Jackson home. She touched a lot of people just with her laugh, or just if you need to talk to somebody. She had it, always had an ear. She always had a, a word, good spoken word to give to a person. Everybody got a story, you know. I mean, she was live. She was big. She was life of the party. She was my best friend. Yep. Porter is charged with her murder. Roy's family says they pray Porter is punished and he doesn't return to Badger Drive. If we don't stand, who else going to do it? The neighborhood is coming. And we're coming forward for us. Reporting in Jackson, Katie Rowe, WJTV 12. Porter had his initial court appearance this morning. He is being held without bond.